Hello, everyone. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. A Duncanville High School student has made quite an impact with a lecture he gave his teacher. Cell phone video of his passionate speech has gotten tens of thousands of hits online and comments, too, after it was posted. Yeah, he was upset with what he says is his teacher's lack of passion for her profession. We talked with him. You're going to hear from him in a moment. But first, here's his speech as he was getting kicked out of class. Damn, this freaking lady go off on kids because they don't freaking get this crap. If you would just get up and teach them instead of handing them a freaking packet, yo. There's kids in here who don't learn like that. Bye. They need to learn face to face. Bye. You just get mad because I'm pointing out the obvious no, and you're choosing you're wasting my time. No, I'm not wasting your time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what you need to do. Get out. You want kids to come into your class? You want them to get excited yeah, for this? You, you gotta come in here, you gotta make them excited. You want a kid to change and start right. doing better? You gotta touch his freaking heart. Can't expect a kid to change if all you do is just tell him. You gotta, you gotta take this job serious. This is the future of this nation. And when you come in here, like you did last time, and make a statement about, oh, this is my paycheck, indeed it is. But this is my country's future okay. and my education. I, I that. Can you go outside, please? Score I, I but there's a limit when I'm not bitching, okay. but simply making an observation. Okay, okay. And now I will leave. You're yes. welcome. Yes. Right. And if you would like, I'll teach no. you a little more so you no. can actually learn how to teach no. a freaking class. Because since I got here, I've done nothing but no. read packets. So don't try and take credibility for teaching me jack. Just go. Bye. Fox Force Calvert Collins is in Duncanville right now. All right, Calvert, you talked to, to Jeff. How's he feeling about what he, you know, what he's recorded doing? And now all this attention he's getting, it's exploding. Certainly uh, surprising to him. He's told me this was not about a publicity stunt of, of any kind, but he says he has no regrets. He stands by those words, saying he's fighting for his education, but he does admit he could have been a little bit calmer. The Duncanville High School sophomore has not been disciplined in any way for insubordination, but tells me he is meeting with school administrators first thing tomorrow morning. Really thinking deep. Jeff Bliss hit his boiling point over a test in his world history class yesterday morning. You just get mad because I'm pointing out the obvious. My question was, why don't we get the same amount of time to take the test as, as the rest of her classes? He says the teacher replied with profanity, telling him to stop his questioning and leave. That's when he erupted, and a classmate caught it on cell phone video. If you would just get up and teach them instead of handing them a freaking packet, yo. There's kids in here who don't learn like that. The YouTube video went viral, and the 18-year-old sophomore became almost a cult hero overnight. I get a little carried away. But Bliss tells me he doesn't want all the attention. I don't want people to look up to me as something you should idolize or anything like that. I'm just as human as the next person. He says he's gotten support from other teachers and administrators. When his mom saw the video today, she was proud. She was proud. She did say that the, the way my attitude was used could have been used better, more wise, He'd possibly see college. Bliss backs up his outburst because he dropped out of high school after his freshman year and came back. Now I do take my schoolwork seriously. And he wants his teachers to as well. And now I will leave. You're welcome. We wanted to give Duncanville ISD a chance to respond to this video and Jeff Bliss's behavior. They released a statement saying, we want our students and teachers to be engaged, but the method by which the student expressed his concern could have been handled in a better, more appropriate way. So we're going to learn some of those consequences, if he stands any, tomorrow. But uh, as far as what we're told from the district, it is still under investigation. And Jeff Bliss, interestingly enough, Steve, harbors no ill will towards his teacher. He just hopes that this is kind of a wake-up call, so to speak. Okay, and just real quickly, when he cursed in that, the only time he did, he says he was mimicking what the teacher had said first, right? Exactly, and using that particular expletive, and that was corroborated by other students in the class. Okay, and just to remind our viewers, we're, we're not saying the teacher's name because we haven't had a chance to talk with her and hear her side. Calvert Collins, live in Duncanville, thank you very much.